Hello, I'm Luis Laranjeira, R&D Manager for BP Controllers at Synopsys. Today, we'll show you a demonstration of our MIP DJR FV4 prototyping system, making use of Synopsys DesignWare MIP DGAR FV4 Master Controller and DesignWare MIP M5 IP solutions. This demonstration highlights Synopsys proven system level interoperability, which lowers the risk of integrating LTE RFIC interfaces into your mobile SOC. Let's first take a look at the block diagram of the system we are showing today. This block diagram illustrates a typical mobile SOC implementation for interfacing with an RFIC using the MIPDRFE4 protocol. In this example, we'll see the sequence of events in a communication between the baseband side and the RFIC. The baseband initiates communication by requesting transmission of an ICLC command called ping request. The DGRFE4 controller scales the transmission of the requested ICLC command, assembles the frame for transmission according to DGRFE4 protocol, and accesses the M5 RMMI interface for transmitting the frame. The M5 activates the TX link by transmitting a prepare sequence, and then starts the serial transmission of data after 8-bit NV encoding. The RFIC receives the serial data, decodes it, and detects the ICLC command called ping request. It subsequently schedules the transmission on the RX link of the corresponding RCLC command called ping response. The M5 detects activity in the RX link, deserializes the data, and performs 8-bit 10-B decoding before sending data to the DRF controller via RMMI interface. The DRF controller performs data lane merging in case two RX lanes are active, performs frame decoding, and then stores the data in the associated FIFO asserting the corresponding interrupt. Finally, the baseband detects the interrupt and accesses the RF controller to retrieve the received data, which is the ping response message. Let's look at the prototyping system we'll use in this demo. The main board is a Synopsys HAPS FPGA-based board, and it has a DGRF V4 master controller running on the FPGA you see under this socket. This is the daughter card with M5 test chip and it is connected with the FPGA containing the DJRF V4 controller. The M5 connects to the latest addition to the Fujitsu RFIC transceiver family, the MB86L11A RFIC, using the DJRF V4 connections, including TX and RX data lanes, reference clock generating the RFIC, and DJRF enable signals. We'll now execute a ping transmission and ping response sequence through the laptop terminal emulating a request from the baseband side. The test was completed, and we'll now check the data we received from the RFIC using the test equipment, and then we'll decode it so we can check the response. We can see the resulting command is decoded as a ping response as expected, demonstrating that we have correctly transmitted the ping request command, and that the RFIC detected it and replied with the corresponding ping response. Now we'll show the transition to high-speed gear one mode, we will issue the transmission of the associated ICLC commands and both the baseband and RFIC will transition to high-speed mode. Now that we have executed the sequence, let's perform the ping requests and ping response sequence again and capture the data in the oscilloscope. As we can see, the frequency of operation is now increased and we can see the bit rate around 1.25 gigabit per second. Let's decode the data and we can confirm we received the expected ping response from the RFIC, which this time was received in high-speed mode using two receiver lanes. You've just seen a demo of the proven system-level interoperability of Synopsys Zenware MIPDRF4 Master Controller and MIPM5 IP solution, which helps lower integration risk and speed time to market. To learn more about MIPIP portfolio, please visit us at synopsys.com/mipi.